It is time, guys. I am riding Mako today for the very first time. I'm going to SeaWorld Orlando, yay! So, I'm finally going to SeaWorld Orlando. I'm finally riding Mako. This is going to be the first time I'm riding Mako, and so uh, it was, it's kind of like a last minute thing. Um, I'm literally going in between my classes, I guess, or after my classes, but still. Um, I'm probably not going to stay too long, just riding Mako, maybe a few times, and I will go another day and really ride Mako like a lot and kind of show the whole park. So this is literally just a quick thing, going with a friend, riding Mako. And so yeah, it is now open and uh, I'm going to get my season pass, annual pass right now. And uh, that's the good thing about having the annual pass, I can literally go just to ride Mako. So this is the book I quickly made the other day. It is to document my rides. I'm literally going to document all of my Mako rides. I'm trying to aim for like a thousand. So I'm going to write down. And then I have a Mako pen too. A Mako shark pen. Pretty cool. So I'm going to ride the shark like a thousand times if I can. 500 times. Maybe by the end of this year. And another 500 next year or something. We'll figure it out. Um, that's not my all time goal. That's just my like. That's what I want to reach soon. Uh, so yeah, now open Mako. Here it is on the map, and it is an amazing, it looks like an amazing hyper coaster. The fact that I'm living now near it is an awesome, like, it's just awesome. I'm also going to try to ride uh, ride Kraken and Manta and everything else if I can at SeaWorld. I don't have my GoPro with me right now, unfortunately, but I'll try to get it soon. And so that, that way I'll be able to record all the rides and whatnot. So yeah, that is... Um, that's the map. So here's a little ad for the pass I'm planning on getting. I'm planning on getting a SeaWorld and Busch Gardens Tampa, or SeaWorld Orlando and Busch Gardens Tampa pass. So I'll be able to ride the new Mako and uh, Cabra's Curse this year. And it's only like 250 bucks, I think. And then I can add uh, Aquatica if I want, but I'm not adding Aquatica. Just doing these two parks. So I think that's a pretty good deal. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Mako and Cobra's Curse, pretty cool. Two new credits, and I've never been to either parks. I've been to Busch Gardens Williamsburg and SeaWorld San Diego. So that's, uh, yeah, there's some information. A shark is taking over Orlando. He's everywhere. It's the Mako shark! Oh! I'm gonna ride it! Yay! Mako sharks! Yay! Alright guys, so on our way to SeaWorld and we are passing Universal, which uh, is going to be home to Volcano Bay, I believe in 2017. So, you can get like a shot of this. There is um, Cabana Bay we're about to pass and then there's the rest of Volcano Bay construction. And you may, you may be able to see some, I'm not sure how much you can actually see from the road. But uh, we'll try to get a shot. Here we go. That is the volcano structure. Oh, oh and look! Some of the volcano actually, they're putting actually actually the uh, stuff on it, the material, what do you call it? I don't know what you call it, but the, they're putting on the um, rock on the volcano. That's pretty awesome. There's some slides. Man, these Mako sharks are everywhere. They're taking over Orlando. Freaking everywhere. All right, it looks like we are about to uh, come up to the Mako, and uh, keep in mind guys, I have seen the Mako during construction. I've never actually gotten up close to it. Well, I actually have, but not during the day. And so, yeah, let's uh, go ahead and uh, show you guys. We are at SeaWorld, Orlando. And I've been to, and by the way, hold on, there's Aquatica. Oh, there are people actually there in this weather. <laughs> Anyways, I've been to SeaWorld San Diego and did a vlog there, pretty good park. Haven't been to Orlando yet or any of the other like SeaWorld parks so um, or resorts or whatever. So anyways, yeah, so we're gonna pass Mako here. And I'm with my friend Brandon. Hey guys. He's been on Mako. <laughs> oh, there it is, Mako Shark, yay. Yeah, um, here do you find it, thanks. All right. It's still nice and vibrant, no fading. Right. Should probably get in this thing. Sea World's world. <laughs> All right. Yep. Sea World. Shamu. All right, got that. Cool. All 
right, so you can see um, Manta over there. It's actually going up the lift. And keep in mind, guys, I've never been to SeaWorld Orlando, so I'm super excited. Um, I think there's about four credits here, four, five because there's a kitty coaster too. So you have Mako, Kraken, uh, Manta, Journey to Atlantis, and then there's a kitty Shamu's coaster. Shamu's Express. Shamu's Express, yeah. And then so um, a lot of people um, uh, haven't really been to SeaWorld Orlando because most people go to Universal and Disney like me, but this is my first time here at SeaWorld Orlando and I'm so excited getting a season pass. Um, probably for this park and Bush Gardens Tampa. Just gotta look at the prices. But uh, yeah, I'm excited. So here is uh, SeaWorld Orlando. And oh, this is a cool view. So you have like a lighthouse, it says SeaWorld on it, and then Manta. It's nice. First impressions of the park, it's very cool. Alright, so they gave me a park map with my season pass for SeaWorld Orlando, and they even have um, a uh, past member lounge, which she circled for me. We'll show that at some point today. But yeah, there's the map. It's a uh, pretty decent sized park. And um, she even gave me a sheet with some benefits and rewards for past members. So that's pretty cool. All right, we are headed back in the park. And uh, it's a beautiful park. It really is. All SeaWorld Entertainment Park, so just really nice. And um, I think I've only been to Busch Gardens Williamsburg and SeaWorld San Diego. So this is like my third SeaWorld park. So yeah, I'm excited guys. Uh, let's head in. We're now heading in. Uh, We're heading in and it's raining a little bit, but it should clear up. Check this out guys. So it is a uh, heat alert and this was actually, this has been up for a little while, but it just, you know, gives you some advice for um, going to SeaWorld in the heat. And I like that they uh, put this up. I think more parks should start doing that. Mako is the uh, tallest, longest, and fastest coaster in Orlando, and I'm so excited to ride it for the first time today. It is still summer of Mako, and there is a uh, Manta right there. It's a BM flyer. There's one of the little like ads for Mako. There's one of the towers. I believe they had this at SeaWorld San Diego. I didn't do it because it was closed. So this is all new. We are now entering the uh, shark. I guess it's the Shark Wreck Reef, and uh, it's here. This is what's taken us to Mako. Oh, I already see Mako. Holy moly, guys. Can't believe this is real. I remember when they uh, released a promo, they gave me permission to upload it. So I got really excited and I uploaded it, but I was like, I don't know when I'm actually going to be able to ride it. Then I found out I was moving to Orlando, so. Yeah, um, here's Mako. I guess this is the gift shop for Mako. One of them. Yeah, one of them. So we are directly under this B&M track. This is like the ending of the ride. It's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, Guy Harvey actually painted this building. There was a video of him doing that. I think it's on my channel somewhere. Um, they released it with the media stuff. And this is cool. The track just wrecks right through this stuff. So it's really cool, the theming around here. All right, guys. This is official riding Mako. Finally, this is like official. And check this out, guys. We got uh, some of the track right here. Wow, check that out. Stunning. The uh, track has this cool kind of uh, uh, theming to it, like it's underwater. Here's one of the uh, test seats right here. This is kind of what the seats look like. Oh, they play music, that's pretty cool. Check this out. The wait time is so short, it's only 10 minutes. You guys wanna be in the video? All right, here we are. We are going in the line. It's a hyper. So, um, I've been on Nitro, Apollo's Chariot, 
um, Intimidator, but haven't been on this before. I think I've been on like a few other hypers, but not B&M. So yeah, this is the line. Check it out, there's uh, pretty much no line for it now. It is a dead day here at the park. shark and I have to find the uh, injured fish right now apparently um, so yeah this is a cool cute line Uh, make a close up, so this is a uh, pretty cool moment. Really? <laughs> you are probably the luckiest person I know. You can also see wishes. That is insane. <gasps> oh, yeah, it's slippery. Be careful. Oh, make oh, the make a shot. Front, front. <laughs> We're riding in the front. Awesome. Cracking right there, I haven't been on that one. Walk on! It's walk on! Shows which zone. Oh, does it? Sharks everywhere. There's a Mako shark. I'm so scared right now. Check it out. BM Hyper train coming into the station. And we got. Holy crap, guys! That is the that is 
probably my number number two coaster. That is amazing. Just so much air time. It is, it is really phenomenal. I really, really enjoyed that. Awesome. Honestly, that is one of the best coasters ever. You know what? This might actually be number one. It was it was really phenomenal. I I enjoyed it a lot, and uh, just awesome. Probably the best hyper I've ever ridden. It is phenomenal. It really, really is. And so here's like a little lift hill shot for you guys. And then you got Kraken right there. And it goes up the lift hill pretty fast. such a phenomenal coaster it really is amazing wow that thing is just amazing and I love how they have the music going when it comes by or when it goes up the hill I guess wow honestly amazing theming amazing ride the people there are so nice SeaWorld is amazing so yeah, um, here's like the station, I guess. That's Mako. We got some uh, ride regulations. Here's the exit. Entering the uh, new Mako gift shop, and uh, they have all kinds of different merchandise and stuff. Hey, they got little bags and stuff, and all kinds of different uh, Mako merchandise. Hey, check these out. Photos here. All right, it is phenomenal BM coaster. It's really amazing, and I I just uh, really enjoyed this. Uh, I'm gonna definitely try to ride it 1,000 times uh, by the end of 2017. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Mako. So one of the amazing things about SeaWorld Orlando is that they have a pass member lounge. And so if you buy a season pass like I did, you get to go into the lounge. I think you get free beverages. You can relax, uh, just sit down and stuff, take a break if it's uh, really hot outside. And uh, it's just a cool lounge and you can buy discounted food, I think, and stuff. So yeah, um, that is amazing. That, that's probably why SeaWorld Orlando is one of my favorite parks. Uh, you know, they do take care of the guests a lot and uh, make them feel happy. So this is um, the Pass Center, or the Season Pass Center, and uh, I'll show you guys what's inside, and here's where you check in, I believe. Kind of a rare species. He's a prehensile tail species. How'd he uh, come to be here? Any lizard I've ever seen. He was born here um, just about two years ago. Because they are they're oh, these feels? I know, they're they're not by the mouth. It feels almost like plastic. I know, it's funny. I tell people it's like a rubber toy. Yeah. It's a living rubber toy. It's a living rubber toy. That's our joke. He's pretty cute oh for a reptile. Gosh. Go figure. I'm like, he's totally adorable. So this is the uh, pass member lounge. And since I have a pass, this is awesome. Just come in here. It's the uh, Coca-Cola Pass Member Lounge. So here is the Coca-Cola Pass Member Lounge. Pretty cool. And uh, you get complimentary drinks. Nice and big. I upgraded to that card and uh, they have some merchandise here you can buy. Free drinks. This is awesome. You can even uh, charge your phones here.
right guys, so here inside the uh, pass member lounge, they actually have food you can buy. Um, and I'm not sure if it's discounted or regular price, but um, this is what they have. So, pretty cool selection right here. Go ahead and switch it over. Yeah, I think that's it. Guys, check it out. My new favorite drink, they have Mako Blast here. I'm gonna touch for that. Not working. Um, oh, there we go. Okay, so here is uh, Mako Blast. You can get it in the regular Mako Blast or diet. So I think I'm just gonna get regular, and I'm not sure what it tastes like, but I'll try it. All right, so I just put my cup right there, and then start pouring. And that is uh, Mako Blast. I'm gonna try it. All right, so that's uh, Mako Blast. Let's go ahead and try it. All right, this is Mako Blast. So I'm gonna try it, and uh, hopefully it's good. It's kind of like a uh, soda, like carbonated, but um, I want to say it's almost like like a cherry Coke, but um, it has something else in it. I'm not really sure. Can't really pinpoint it, but it's um, it's almost like a Coke. It's very carbonated. I thought it wasn't gonna be like as carbonated, but yeah, it's very carbonated. Big thing. I wish all uh, Coke machines had a uh, Mako Blast, pretty good. I'm going to have to tap a couple times for it, but yeah, there it is. Alright, so if you go to, I think it's any Coca-Cola freestyle in the park, you just touch for the Mako Blast and it should come up and I have no idea what's inside of it but it's all right it's not bad I haven't tried to diet just uh, tried the regular ah Mako mm, I love that roller coaster it's the best so that's the past member lounge and uh, I was in there for a good like 35 minutes I think 40 minutes nice place to cool off I really liked it so I'm definitely going to uh, go in there and cool off when I come to SeaWorld it's just awesome. I didn't even know they had the past member lounge um, until today. So yeah, I'm gonna definitely uh, go in there more often. Free drinks, that's a benefit, free drinks. Never have to buy any drinks when I come here. That's something that I wish they had at Six Flags and some other parks. I think SeaWorld just overall cares about their customers a lot more than other parks that we won't mention. Maybe Great Adventure. Yeah, we'll mention that one. Uh, anyways, all right, well, uh, that is the past member lounge and I'm going, going to uh, ride Mako again. All right, well, here's Mako. This is Orlando's uh, fastest coaster, 70 miles per hour. I'm excited to ride Mako. It's gonna be awesome. Hopefully the line isn't too long. Earlier, line wasn't long at all, so that should be good. And uh, yeah, Mako, Mako time. for Mako again and I cannot wait to ride I am just so excited this is the best hyper this is honestly I, I changed my mind this is the best coaster I've ever ridden this is number one it is just phenomenal it is definitely number one do a little turnaround right here Incredible. 
level. They must have planned this years uh, before the, you know, they started even construction. You know, the planning uh, was good. They opened it, you know, pretty soon and pretty good. I guess that's where the Mago Shark started, and I'm not sure. So they're like the uh, little service stations where they keep the trains. going up the stairs for Mako right now. Few lines here are like uh, wrecked reefs and stuff.
It's uh, an amazing hyper coaster. It's really something. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to ride uh, this today because I'm super busy. Uh, if this is Kraken, I think. Yeah, it's Kraken. Uh, I don't know if I'll ride Kraken and Manta. Hopefully. Let's see. Honestly, this is the coaster I'm worried about riding the most. I just want to try to get as many rides on Mako as possible. Uh, I'm really going for like 500 by the end of 2016 and then 1,000 by the end of 2017. So we'll see. And uh, here is Kraken. This is uh, awesome. This is my new home park. Like, this is awesome. And the station theming is uh, pretty incredible. Uh, to be honest with you guys, it's really really cool. Um, you guys got to check it out. Mako. Oh, I keep on walking this way, but uh, I think this is the queue line. Yeah, that's the queue line. Smells like sharks here. <laughs> it's like I, I know what sharks smell like. No, I don't. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, this is uh, the queue line. They really did an incredible job here. SeaWorld Orlando is, uh, they have, they have definitely done an amazing job and uh, I am speechless, honestly. So here's the uh, Mako gift shop again. This is where you can buy your on-ride photo and pretty much all that kind of stuff, merchandise and whatnot. So, we come in. So that's the gift shop, and then you have the entrance to Mako right there. And uh, I'm going to show you guys this whole area of the park. It's very uh, themed, and uh, it's nice. And the Mako track is right above us. Here's Manta, uh, I think we're gonna do it. And this is, uh, I think this is gonna be my second uh, flying coaster I've ever ridden. 
because I've only been on Superman Ultimate Flight Six Flags Great Adventure. That was horrible. So hopefully this is much better. I um, haven't been on many flying coasters actually. I skipped Tatsu when I was at Six Flags Great uh, Match Mountain actually. So yeah, I haven't been on that many. But this one looks awesome. So this should be fun. Now this one, I'm, I'm probably unless they have like for the POV. Uh, I might, I might get front. Front for the, do it for the POV. What do they say? Do it for the vine. Do it for the POV. <laughs> All right. So this is Manta. In the press, I get. No, that's what it's about. That's what it's about, man. Man. I'll give it a shot. My favorite ride in the world is High 305. It's themed to rednecks. All right, Manta, yay! It's time for Manta. This is actually really cool. I like the sign, how there's like a waterfall. The theming is incredible. Check this out, guys. Pretty cool. Non -story that ever this is a nice cue. Fish tornado! See, I missed they used to have there's a specific tunnel in here. I remember it. I it was. Yes. I remember it. It was violent. They had a monster. Oh, okay. Oh, is that a Mako shark? There, no, Makos cannot be held this time. This is the fish tornado. Oh, okay. It has been swirling strong since 2009. Hello, Manta. Look at all these fish. It's pretty cool. And look at the stingray. Oh, I'd love to be one of those stingrays just, just like going around like, yay. This is cool. Yes. Oh, here. this plane the other day. Let's pretend like it's actually. This is the plane. All right, so this is the queue. running one side rather than the two sides, but that's all right. Still two trains. Which two trains isn't bad. I mean, it is a Wednesday. Um, crowd levels aren't super high. Um, it would be nice to see three train operations, but it's not that big of a deal. I mean, two trains is great. If they were running one train, that would kind of be bad. So I like these bags that they have. Four times the Fury. They have the uh, coasters. So they have Kraken, which I haven't done yet. Manta, just got my credit. And Mako, and then Journey to Atlantis, which they count, uh, which is good. And so yeah. So not only do they have the bags here, but they also have shirts and stuff. So you get shirts right here, and then hats and sports bottles, mugs, all that kind of stuff. So 
So there's Journey to Atlantis. Uh, I've been on the one at San Diego, but I haven't been on this one before. So hopefully on my next visit, I'll ride it and uh, kind of compare it and see what if I like it more than the one at uh, San Diego. Definitely, I'll do it. Well, here's Kraken, BM Floorless Coaster. Um, I don't know if I've been on many. I think I've been on Scream, uh, Dominator. I don't know the other ones I've been on. Uh, oh, Bizarro. Now Kraken. I've heard it's pretty good. Heard some good things about it. Kraken. That's it. So it's pretty much a walk on. There's literally no line for Kraken. Look at that face. Whoa, it's literally walk on. There's like World. Totally no line here um, for Kraken. You got Mako going right there, and uh, yeah, there's no line. Well, here's Kraken. It is uh, pretty good, not bad. Um, I honestly think uh, what's called Scream and Dominator a little bit better, but. This is, no, this was good. This was honestly not bad. So, um, I do not have my GoPro chesty with me right now. And if you guys were wondering why I didn't actually film the ride, I don't have it yet. It's being repaired. But once I actually get my GoPro, I'll be able to come here and film because they allow, you know, chesty and whatnot. So, I know it's weird. I'm actually here. They allow the chesty, but I'm not even filming. And with that's really ironic because usually I film all the time, but yeah, um, don't have the chest beat, sadly. trees here and then they have the water right here it's very nice all the theming around here is pretty cool however uh, Kraken does need a repaint so sort of there's Mako there's Kraken Manta here at uh, SeaWorld Orlando. Uh, so here's the uh, splashdown right here. 
and it's going up now and uh, I'm about to get this splash down on camera it's actually pretty pretty cool and you guys probably have seen it before so it's, it's pretty nice That's awesome. Pretty good coaster. Saying goodbye to SeaWorld Swirl right now. Had a great day. the SeaWorld Lighthouse and uh, some makeup stats and whatnot. More makeup stuff. This cool little dock right here. Orlando. So I'll be going to Bush Gardens too. SeaWorld sign and SeaWorld now has Mako so I gotta check that out. So there's uh, the volcano for Volcano Bay under construction. Check that out. Oh no it's blocked now but maybe you'll see it when we uh, come up here. Can you guys see it? I can't I'm driving but oh those are some new slides I guess. Uh, you can see the Orlando Eye which is now the Coca-Cola Orlando Eye. It's now red, and uh, they changed it over to Coca-Cola, so that's their like sponsor or whatever. Alright guys, so where I am driving right now, you should be able to see at least, I'm uh, sorry about the windshield wipers guys, there's a storm, uh, it keeps on raining on and off. You should be able to see um, at least, I hope, most of Mako, and SeaWorld in general, so I'm not sure, but hold on, we'll go ahead and... Uh, Trying to get a better shot of this for you guys. Yeah, it's right there. Sorry, I can't really film much of it. All right, so yeah, that is uh, that Sea World for you guys. I think I went the wrong way, so I might have to turn around and meeting a friend for dinner. But um, that's like Sea World basically. There you go. Alright, yeah, SeaWorld. And there's Aquatica. Let's see if I can get a better shot of Mago. It's right here, it's just covered by trees. You may be able to see it, but you know. We'll see. Once we come up here. Yep, Mako. And uh, it looked like the lift hill lights were on. I don't even know 
it's open. I think, yeah, it's probably closed by now, especially due to the weather. But check that out, guys. Kraken looks cool. The night packages or the lighting, whatever. Lift to lighting. Mako! Yeah, that's cool. Mako! can see oh you can sort of see uh, it's not very well lit up but Mako Shark Sea World yay I'm not actually going there it's closed it's raining yay Sea World I wish I could get better shots of this Sea World Sea World check this out so I am in Walmart right now and they have a Mako advertisement it is the tallest, fastest, and longest in Orlando. You can see that for SeaWorld Orlando. And there's like a little concept art for Mako. I think that was a concept art originally before they even started construction. So we'll give that a little look. We got, we got Universal's Hogwarts Express. Mako, which is nice. Some Frozen stuff and some Kong stuff. There's the Orlando Eye. Half of the Orlando Eye is not even lit up. <laughs> 